Hi and welcome to my channel. It's Rebecca, also known as a four kids at one four seven. Happy Fangzels Friday, everybody! And um, so I've got some more goodies to share with you. So let's get into it and have a look what we have today. Oh, diamonds want to come out quickly with that one. Okay. There we go, we're in the package. So, while we're there, we have a basic toolkit, boat wax and pen. We have some three, oh no, that could be 939. Let's have a look. Does it tell us? No, it doesn't tell us. Okay, so this is one of the kits that does not have DMC numbers. It's a very thick canvas though, which is why I find quite often that sometimes just folding them is better than peeling the paper back on these ones. It will flatten. Um, we do have quite a big border on this one as well, but I do think you can still clearly see the image, which is good. Yes, we are only 23 across on this one and 33 down, so quite a big border, less place to diamond paint, but you can still make out the image, which is some gorgeous silhouette palm trees. Uh, with a nice bit of colour. We do have 20 colours. The symbols are a mixture of symbols and letters, but they are clear. So they do use white on black, white on dark, on the darker colours. And then they do use black on the lighter colours. So you can make them all out, which is good. It's nothing worse than not being able to see. And um, maybe that is black. But it's looking more like a, a dark 939 than it is a black. Um, but we have some gorgeous vibrant colours in with this, which is what attracted me to the image in the first place. Looks like we have quite a few hitchhikers that have moved from one drill part to another. We've got quite a few purples in there. Um, oh, that could be 939 or maybe 823. Now that definitely looks like a 939, so it looks more like it's a dark navy than a black. It's a little bit of a change, but look at that pink. Wow. Got some really nice, vibrant, bright colours, which I do. I like doing diamond paintings with bright colours. Even if they do have the darker silhouettes mixed in with it, I just I find the enjoyment of mixing between the one and the two. Um, the more muted colours, quite often it's the image that I'm, you know, the image and the way it's done that I'm drawn to. Whereas with bright, vibrant ones, sometimes I don't care what the image is. Um, it's always good if it's nice, like this one is, but I do like working with the bright colours. Okay, so that's number one. I'm trying to find a place to put this down, so it's flat. Um, we've got a thinner one and then we've got a thicker one. So let's go for the thinner one. Is this a special shaped one or not? That is the question. It does look like it is. I like to vary it up. Some of these special shaped ones can be nice quick projects. Oh yes, look at that. Again, vibrant. Oh, it has 20 different special shaped diamonds on this. And we've got quite a few different shapes as well. So it is a partial. You do only do the hand print. Um, we get a basic toolkit. Uh, no tweezers with this one. And it does all come in baggies. But because it is special shapes, I am going to get them out and show you some of the different ones that you get in with this. They are numbered from 1 to 20. But we have, I'm not sure how well can we see this. Let's, let's turn this over and see if that will show it a bit better. So we have some bigger circles in an orange, teardrops in a red. We have some basic green, bigger in a yellow, lots of different colors here. So we have some blue, Really nice, those those are quite thick. Um, we have some basic red. We have, they are iridescent, so there are a few different sort of 
greeny slash silvery. Then we have some red ones of the same. We have some basic silver, but they do have quite a bit of a sparkle. Basic yellow, so we've got mixed in nice dark yellow. Basic blue, basic red, basic pink. Oh, then we have some bigger ones in red. These are sm more smooth, they don't have facets on them. So it's just half a circle. Same in gold, and we only have four of those, so I'm guessing we don't have many that we place. Few in orange. We have some basic in a dark yellowy orange. Oh, we have some tiny little teardrop ones in silver. We have some yellow and we have gorgeous blue. So a really, really nice variety of shapes and colours in that one, which I think looks amazing. I do like that they're in baggies because on a painting this sort of size in the special shapes because it's a partial, I will more than likely just work straight from these bags. So I will just get bag one and I'll do all of bag one. Um, some of them have symbols, have numbers on them. Some of them are just symbols, but they all look clear, which is fantastic. They're all nice and clear. And there are a few, of course, that are scattered about. So the letter T, which is a green one, we have a bit up here, a bit round here, a bit down here as well. Um, but then the special shape ones, well, even that, the G, the red G, we've got a few down here, but then we've got a couple up here as well. So it's quite nice to work on those as a complete painting. It's easy to grab. There's no kitting up. Grab a bag, open it up, off you go, and then move on to the next one. Um, and they come together really quickly. So very pleased with that one. And then... Last, but by no means least, because there will be more, it's Fan Cells Friday after all, we have, what do we have? Oh, wow, what's this one? Oh, this is, a oh, that's pretty. Um, it's very dark. When you look at it in, in normal, that's what I first saw <laughs> coming out, and it's like, uh, what was it that I ordered? So that's the actual image. It's as though it's sort of a snowy scene, maybe slightly Christmassy, maybe not really, um, but definitely a sort of winter scene. This would be nice to have up as just, yeah, oh, that looks gorgeous. Nice snow scene. Looks really nice from a distance when you look away from it. It's one of those images that you can't, particularly see when you're working on it but as soon as you take a step back it just pops there's just so much detail and um, there is 20 colors in this one this one would look nice in a few different areas of my house and I think that might have to happen um, we get a basic toolkit I can just imagine putting this one up for winter and then maybe changing it for something Maybe I need to go back to thinking of the, the idea of having things for different seasons. Um, and this would be one that would be gorgeous to put up all through winter till like February, March. And then maybe bring something a little bit more vibrant out. Um, image size is just under 25 by just under 35. And a lot more muted colours, this one. But I think this is one that you would work on and be like, oh, okay. But then you take a step back and go, wow. And I do think that that's the case. Say so very muted colours in this one. But we have quite a few greys. As you can imagine, quite a few shades of grey to bring out the pot. We've got some dark green. We actually have no 310. Some nice beige colours browns, blues, some purples and then we have some of your lighter greens and your lighter purples. Very nice. 
I do like that one. I think that one is going to be a gorgeous image when it's done. So let me get the diamonds back in the bag. And I've not, of course, put them in any way the same way that the packers did, but that's fine. So recap for today's, we have a gorgeous winter scene, which I'm really thinking I might want to do and put up in my house. We have a nice, fun, funky, um, sunsetty silhouette palm tree. And then we have a special diamond painting. Nice, easy project, fun to do, and gives you lots and lots of different shapes of a palm print. So I will pop them all down below in the links for you, but I just have so many choices of diamond paintings and I'm loving every single one of them. But I do think this one could potentially find a place in my home. Um, so thank you so much for watching and I'll speak to you all again soon.